M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're looking at this Farnsworth programming software. I think it's very good. You can install TYT tools, new firmware, but you can also just add channels and save channels. So let's uh, download it here. It's called edit CP 1.0.31. Click that, run it, and you'll end up with this program here. Nice and easy. And I'm on Windows 10. So we'll also make sure we've got our cable connected tyt cable here md380 so we'll just look at our device manager and don't look in ports look in usb serial and you want to be finding stm device in dfu mode if you haven't got that go to the rt3 retivist site and they'll have the driver or md380 for your usb cable but most windows 10 11 machines will install that automatically back to the program the first thing we do is our basic information. So let's read from the radio. Click radio at the top here, read. Choose the radio we're on. You can do the, the single band model or the dual band. You've also got other models like the MD9600. And this model is 70 centimeters and we'll click OK and it will read the radio. It's a lot simpler than searching through a code field. Right. Going to ignore the error there so let's have a look at some what we've got on this radio so we'll go to general settings and then up here we've got m0 fxp and we've got my dmr number so that's crucial you do need these to use the dmr radio uh, let's have a look other parameters well nothing i want to immediately change low battery intervals tx preamble duration i'm guessing that's how long you can speak for 300 sounds about right so that all sounds good you've got even got your group call hang time and private call hang time which is nice and if you manual key a talk group you need hang time for it to stay on that channel backlight password we don't need pc programming and i've never used that but it looks like you can do pc programming uh i'm not really clear on it so all right move on from that close that window menu items so this is what's going to show up in your menu and I, I like everything to show up to be honest I'm going to click everything um, here you are I've put everything on there close that and let's go to channel let's create a new channel let's call it GB3WR, so we'll go add. Then we're going to click. As you select add, it just it just creates one like one we created with OpenSpot nine. It, it automatically created OpenSpot ten. So we'll double click that. We'll rename it to GB3WR. Put in the frequency of one four five dot. 600 need to get some more noughts in there by the looks of it oh yeah, I realize we're on a 70 centimeter radio so we're going to do GB3 FI which is 430.925 it's good that it told us I want a plus shift to 7.6 so we've got seven and then six GB and that will be GB renamed to GB three FI. Like so power RX TX. It's interesting, you can change the power on either. Squelch, it's an analog channel. We need to get our time out a bit higher, like so, to about 300. Leave the power high because we use that one outside, and then it's 77 hertz. Actually, we don't need decode, we want encode, so we'll put none there encode here 
77 hertz. Okay, I think that's about right. There's a few more selections there. We don't have GPS. Let's click. Let's go now go to our actual zone and add that in. So we go zone. We'll add it to analog repeaters here. So click that. So that's the th we've only got a few zones here. Find the channel we just created with GB3FI. We'll send it into that zone. I might send it somewhere else just to make sure I can find it. Um, let's have a look. I'll put it in my hotspot zone as well. Oh, there's a few invalid there, so they must be the wrong freak. These invalid must be wrong frequencies. So anyway, I'm going to send that in as well. Let's just click that and then click add and then we'll, the invalid, let's get rid of them. We can click delete. Okay, well I got rid of all of them. So let's write that to the radio. Close that, go radio. Write code plug to radio. 34 codes invalid. I'm not sure what that means. There must be something in there that shouldn't be there. Writing that as you can see, so I think it's pretty st straightforward. I'll show you a digital one as well. Okay, that's that already written in. So we've got some activity on there on the radio as well. So I'll just show you the digital. So we'll go channels now the one thing you will need to know if you're going to do dmr you need to create contacts so double click contact there contacts are basically the talk groups that you're going to use like talk group 91 talk group 2350 so let's create 2350 we'll go add 2350 is actually called chat the name isn't what's important really it's actually the number chat and then we'll go here 2350 and it's a group call, not private. If you're going to do private, it will be something like 4000 for disconnect or 9990 for echo, uh, for echo test. So we have one of them. We'll call it echo. And we'll put the number in. Like I said, that's the important bit. And then we'll do this one private. Okay, that's done. We can add that in, in our zone. So let's create the channel first. So go to channels. We're going to do a digital channel. So let's do, let me think now, do my hotspot frequency, which is already in there, 431550 shift. We'll call it hotspot echo. Timeout again, we'll adjust. If you copy and paste, it's going to be, you won't have to do that. Digital at the top here. We won't use a scan list for now, but we do need to select the contact, which is echo, called Echo. So here, look, contact name. So that's basically you're selecting the talk group it's going to use. There it is there at the bottom, Echo. It's up to you if you want to use a list. I might as well just put it in one list. Color code one, and it's an Echo, so we'll leave it on slot one. Normally I use slot two, but um, slot one for, for this kind of test. What is slots where you've got a channel, imagine a channel is cut in half, you can use either half of the channel. It allows two people to use the channel and more digital information. So that's in there. Just need to put that into a zone so we can find it. Just go to our a zone hotspot echo we've got there, that's channel. So let's close this down, go to zones here at the bottom. Go to hotspots. And then the channel we just created, we will push into there. See the way it, available channels, it's not showing it. Let's have a look. Did we remember to save it? Hubnet, we're looking for Echo, aren't we? Did we name it Echo? Let's go back to channels. Hotspot Echo, digital. Didn't leave anything else to be Hotspot Echo. RXTX, digital, it's all there. Let's click Add just to make sure it's in there. 
Okay, now let's go to zones. There it is there. So you've got to remember to click add at the end. And then push it into our hotspot talk group. We'll click add again just to make sure. And now we're going to write it to the radio. Click yes. So that's it. Have a quick look at the radio and then we'll, we'll finish the video. So it's not the clearest, but go menu. Down to zone. Select hotspot. And look, we've got hotspot echo there now. And a few other ones that I've added. So that's it. 7-3, thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.